guys, welcome back to the channel, uh, Take A Do. Um, new stuff uh, has arrived and uh, we have been in CES 2020 this year. We saw that and uh, we were expecting the Auto Evo 8K to be out. It's already out, the Auto Evo 8K. They launched it like three days before when the, when the whole world is under a little bit of fear and everything. Um, the fun part is that they were promising us three versions of it. So they launched a 8K, uh, two by third sensor one, which we were showing um, in CES 2020. So you can check that out. They did launch a 6K version of it, which is a 6K one inch sensor uh, that will shoot 6K at 30 FPS. And uh, that looks, that also we checked out and they did launch a thermal version of it. And all of these information you can find on the Autos website. By the way, the slides that I'm showing to you are from CES. This is our footage that we went and checked out in Autos booth. And um, they were promising 40 minutes of flight and they are giving you 40 minutes of flight. And uh, apart from that, they're also giving you 12 um, optical sensors all around. And they've got five or six more intelligent modes uh, that are present on the new Auto Evo. The Auto Evo, apart from having very different looks, it also has different prop size. So these are leaf will allow you to give more pitch and it will also give you, uh, also enable, you know, to cut a lot of wind compared to their old props that they used to have. And that is the way they are getting a 40 minutes of battery life. The previous ones used to get 28. By the way, if you guys do have not watched, go ahead and check out in the description. I have put a link about, um, our drones going past 3.4 miles from the Pacific coast. It went all the way to 15,000 feet and we had a return to home back. So in one single battery, both of our drones were able to go all the way 15,000 feet and come back at the same time. So check that test out. It was a very cool test that we did between Mavic 2 and Auto Evo. Now returning back to Auto Evo, the most important part that got me excited was that you do not have to keep on buying like three or four drones to get all of the accessories so you can start with a $1400 basic kit then you can take an eight the 6k one inch sensor gimbal separately you can install that and if you want to use that in a commercial purpose like like for bridge inspection um, inspection of uh, you know like um, buildings and everything you can use a thermal vision camera which you can quickly swap so you can swap between two or three uh, like cameras like really fast and that's what separates auto evo from any other company a very big or disheartening um thing for all auto evo users is that we know that autos never flew in 5.8 gigahertz frequency they always flew in 2.4 so again the new auto evo 6k or 8k will be going at uh, 2.4 gigahertz that's the reason you do not need any sort of uh, you know like uh, uh, clearance uh, before flight uh, you will not get any prompts for flight restrictions or anything but you have to fly safe again there are a lot of videos that i've done that you can check it out in the description below how to fly safe um, in uh, like uh, at different altitudes and everything so check that video out also i've got a whole playlist built for that and uh, the thing is that now comes a question is that we auto and you will see that DJI literally has stopped making drones and uh, you will not see any sort of announcements apart from the Mavic Mini uh, just being 249 grams very restricted and yes there are signs of Mavic Mini you know like falling from the sky because people were trying to fly a three inch drone on a very very windy environment where you should always know the limitation of your craft you should never fly a three inch prop a drone on a very windy environment a lot of people were trying to do that and hence the minis were crashing abruptly because of the tilt angle you know like the pitch was becoming uh, so severe that you know it used to fall off uh, it was actually falling off from the sky one of these videos are found in uh, uh, i think droning on's channel so go ahead and check his channel out he had posted from his Facebook page about that uh, incident. But Auto Evo, um, in a time of when FAA just has launched a new drone remote ID program where everybody who's flying a drone has to have remote ID, which means that you are sharing your location. You are sharing basically every data that the government wants to know from your phone because the drone will be connected to your phone. Brings to uh, and brings us to uh, you know like a, 
uh, dead end that what is the future of drones apart from you flying it professionally. So if you have a part 107 license um, and you want 6K footage and everything and you have picked up jobs, maybe this is a good idea. Uh, if you do not have a part 107 and you're a hobbyist, 4K is still good and you are going to keep your 4K drones because the moment you upgrade, you will want to fly and there is virtually no airspace left to fly. And that is the biggest problem. And there is a no legal airspace to fly right now because uh, of the remote ID program. Um, so we need to consider this that uh, though Autel has launched a very revolutionary new drone and um, you know like even we were totally excited about Skydio and Skydio started shipping or anything but overall the sales of drones are going down uh, because of the new remote ID program because now everything is going to get commercial a lot of other companies like UPS uh, and Amazon have partnered up and they've literally paid a ton of money to buy the lower uh, class airspace so that they can do drone deliveries and everything. They're even hiring pilots right now, paying them $40 an hour to fly drones for them. So um, am I going to purchase a Autel Evo 6K? I want to, uh, but the thing is that I don't see any purpose of me purchasing that Autel Evo 6K. I already have an Autel Evo 4K and I've done numerous tutorials on that. And with the transition of this whole um, you know, FA trying to kill a hobby, you know, like uh, it's very disheartening. I've made a video about this, how disheartening it is to leave this hobby, but I'm not going to leave the hobby. I'm still going to fly my quads because I custom build them right now. And like all of you guys, those who are in the hobby, they know how to build a drone. Building a drone is not a big deal at all these days. And if you want to bring a, build a custom, uh, you know, build drone, just build it. But then also remember that remote ID is still needed uh, even if you are flying a manual quadcopter. But that's it from the channel, guys. That's it from um, uh, Tekadu today. And Autel Evo 6K has finally launched. Uh, go ahead and check out their website. I'm posted a link below. Super excited of what's going to happen with the Autel Evo 6K. I will contact Autel. And Autel, if you are watching this, um, if if there is any way we can get a hands-on to a loaner unit that would be perfectly fine because we can show you the product and show you the quality and do a comparison between a 4k and a 6k and the 8k version of it but then again uh, this channel is a small channel not all the time we get sponsorships for different products but whatever will be getting sponsored we are going to present to you uh, in Tekadu. so still then stay tuned for more updates